Out of 100 people in the world, 36 of them live in just two countries, China and India. The land area of these two countries accounts for only 8.6% of the world's total. The fact that 36% of the global population is squeezed into this tiny 8.6% fraction of land suggests that there must be some special reasons behind it. Moreover, when we consider the period since 1700, when the global population began to expand significantly, the population growth rates of these two countries, China and India, have either matched or been lower than the world average. So, how did China and India end up with overwhelmingly large populations that we witness today? To attain a population that surpasses other countries, despite having similar or lower population growth rates for over 300 years, there is only one way, having an immensely large population already in the reference year of 1700. That's precisely what happened. In 1700, it is estimated that China already had an astonishing population of around 130 million, far surpassing other nations. Since then, China's population growth rate has averaged 0.8% per year, which is exactly the global average. On the other hand, India, currently the most populous country, surprisingly has a lower growth rate of 0.7% than the global average. However, even during the 1600s, India had already surpassed China with a population of around 130 million. Remarkably, as early as 0 AD, India and China together accounted for roughly a quarter of the world's total population. For a country to have a large population, it must fulfill the following three fundamental factors. An abundant food supply to sustain a large number of people, access to water resources for agricultural cultivation, and a spacious land area capable of accommodating a substantial population. The most livable places on Earth are found near the Tropic of Cancer. This can be deduced from the fact that the birthplaces of the four major civilizations in human history, the Nile River Civilization in Egypt, the Mesopotamian Civilization in the Tigris-Euphrates River Basin, the Indus Valley Civilization in India, and the Chinese Civilization in the Yellow River Basin, are all located in the vicinity of the Tropic of Cancer. Among them, Egypt and Mesopotamia were disqualified from becoming populous countries due to the scarcity of rivers and the rapid desertification process. On the other hand, China and India met these conditions quite evenly, with particular emphasis on their early cultivation of rice. Rice has a higher yield per unit area compared to wheat, and it also allows for double or triple cropping. In other words, rice can sustain a significantly larger population compared to wheat. Furthermore, rice farming requires a significant amount of labor. Having more children provided an advantage in rice farming, and the surplus rice production supported the increased population. Thus, these two factors, early adoption of rice cultivation and high birth rates, worked in synergy, leading to early population growth. China and India are blessed with abundant water resources, as numerous rivers have enriched their fertile alluvial soils. One might think that their territory size is insufficient to accommodate their current populations. However, when we consider the cultivable land that can sustain a large population, the narrative changes. China and India possess 20% of the world's arable land. From that land, they produce half of the world's rice and 30% of its wheat. Particularly in India, which is only one-third the size of China, 50% of the national territory is suitable for agricultural cultivation. This is a remarkable expanse of cultivable land, especially when compared to major territorial powers like Russia, Canada, and Australia, which can cultivate crops on a mere 7% of their land. In addition to the fundamental three factors, China and India had several favorable conditions that contributed to their population growth. Under relatively long-lasting dynastic rule, they were able to avoid wars that would have resulted in significant loss of life and allowed those not involved in warfare to focus on agriculture. Unlike Europe, which experienced devastating epidemics like the Black Death and smallpox that caused the death of over 30% of the population in a short period, China and India did not undergo such horrific infectious diseases. Europe witnessed massive population outflows from the 16th century onwards, with people migrating to the Americas, Africa, Asia, and Australia. However, 
China and India never experienced such large-scale population exodus. The cultural preference for male children in both countries also played a role in population growth, rooted in their long history of rice farming. The practice of continuing childbirth until a male child was born contributed to population growth as well. As a result of these factors, China and India started off with significantly larger populations than other countries. Their starting point itself was different, which is why they have such enormous populations today.